Welcome to this week's news. We're going to be talking about four articles. He that... doesn't know what articles. I don't know what articles. <laughs> <laughs> Those are the four articles. And if you want this every single week, then subscribe below. I'm going to get right into it. Eric. Hit it. Boom. The title says, more people moving to smaller cities. Huh. Okay. Okay. Yep. More people are moving to smaller cities, and they took into account... 1,200 smaller cities and towns. And this is a trend that's been accelerated. 1,200. Yeah, that's a lot. Mm -hmm. So you can have very small places and very big places like New York City and Hoboken. The suburbs are making a comeback as more people are looking for space and affordability. We've been hearing a lot of people complaining about New Yorkers flooding the South, and I think those are some of the top ones. Yeah, I ironically think it's New enough. Yorkers flowing follow, follow anywhere. I've I've also seen the trend of people that are going to smaller places, kind of mm -hmm. doing that homestead lifestyle. I don't know if that's a TikTok trend or that's actually reality. But taking what's the, it to what's the homestead lifestyle? That is where you are off the grid. Oh. So you just create your own food and you just have nice. i guess what is Excuse elon me. musk's Grow your thing growing your own food <laughs> what's elon musk's company they're shooting uh things into the stars uh, starlink starlink yeah so they're just gonna do that i actually heard it was pretty good it is starlink and it, how much is it well, never... i wasn't talking about starlink i'm talking about being off the grid oh yeah sounds amazing but you still get that notification on your cell phone, don't you? <laughs> oh, yesterday? <laughs> we're yeah. scared. Yeah. Literally, I like shot up. I wasn't expecting it. You were expecting it. I had no so idea what was going on. So affordability in smaller cities yep. with more space. That's the trend. I think people are doing second homes inside the city or second homes outside of the city. So if your primary is in the city, then your secondary is in a smaller town. If you have a smaller town, then you have a studio in the large city yeah and i would say that what do they do with the big apartments in the city usually rent it out yep so that e then they feel like they're kings out where they're uh, living like royalty kings. out in these small little cities where they're like oh i'm renting my apartment for six thousand dollars a month maybe it, even more yeah you know that gives a lot of uh yeah you know then they can try out this lifestyle i personally will get to your article but this really needs to be said I personally love the amount of comments about when you say you're from New York City or we talk about New York City on social media. I would love to see those in person. Because my mom, when she drives, she, her license plate is New York. Ah. So she drives that in Florida. She gets some people that are I like that. Yeah. 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 No, I'm sure. Um, Harry Macklow landed a $300 million inventory loan for the unsold apartments at the... Uh, Office to Residential Conversion at One Wall Street. Who's Harry Macklow? One of the biggest developers in Manhattan. Thank you. And he did one of these tricky office to residential conversions, uh, a lot of them happening downtown in the financial district. And uh, One Wall Street was... Financial you know, district? You mean FIDI? FIDI, yes. One Wall Street. And uh, it was going to be a great project but it has definitely hit some uh snags and a so lot he of inventory. found 300 million dollar loan or yeah. he's so a condo inventory loan is you know wow. to pay off debt as you you do know have unsold units so do you know who funded that did it say mm, good question excellent question i only bring good good questions no nope. well the conversions are definitely going to be happening but every once in a while. The Newmark team organized it. Good. So The new inventory loan brings the total cost of one Wall Street to around $2.6 billion, adding the, to the possibility of massive losses at the project. With Macklow's ambition to sell office to residential conversion at top dollar, unrealized and cost outstripping sales, possibly by hundreds of millions of dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah. So? Very interesting. Instead of being negative about it, you want to go get a good deal? Why don't you go down to? Uh, I would personally you know. like to be funding that three hundred million dollars, but yeah, having a loan well, like that right actually, now. Actually, then you're probably going to be the owner of those units later. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Talking about uh, price, rent price increases. So 
everywhere across the board, people are not selling, so guess what they're doing? The renting, and that has driven up the prices not only in New York City and through it's throughout the entire country. And this was by your favorite newspaper, the Washington Post. Uh, hmm. The state is, so they went through over a thousand cities and the top 10, seven of them were in what state? Florida. Yep. They had, <laughs> over the last two years, the top 10 had between 30 and 40% rent increases yeah. the last two years. <laughs> That's crazy, and that's according to CoStar. Well, you know, I would say, to take it a step further, one of those expenses is the insurance on those properties. Yeah. Insurance costs have gone up dramatically, so it's not yeah, just the, like the greedy landlords. You know, every, it, it the is, market's the market, though. The market is the market. Well, it costs more, so you got to raise the rent. Well, I think they could get that price. That's why they're raising the rent. Why They, they obviously can get the price. Yeah. But these are places like... Your favorite town, Orlando. Tampa Bay, Tampa. Orlando, yeah, Sarasota. How are Naples? I think that going into next year, the well, the story already is affordability. I mean, how are people down in Florida going to be able to afford rents that keep going up? Yeah, yeah, it's going to be very interesting. And the the biggest reasons is because there's less people building homes. There's less, there's less builders because of supply and, as they said here, uh, labor. So it'll be very interesting. What is your is uh, fourth article, Mr. Bottomley? My fourth article is a great synopsis of the real estate market uh, called, what was the article? I think it was in Forbes. Forbes, and it said, the title is... A New York real estate in Q3 2023, a wild ride for buyers and sellers. Whoa. So buckle up. It gave a very good synopsis of the year and uh, just everything that's been going on and then kind of transitioned into the third quarter where we just finished up. So here we are in the beginning of the fourth quarter, you know, lots of anticipation. And I uh, thought that this one, you know, it's a good article to read. It's quick, it's short, but a good summary of how the market is. But I thought you would love this little last part here. Looking forward to the fourth quarter, we don't anticipate significant changes. The market over $10 million will continue to be slow, characterized by price reductions and rotating agents as sellers become increasingly frustrated. <laughs> Buyers hemmed in high interest rates and inventory shortages, anxious about the state of the world and the country, will step up only when they find the right thing. At, at the, the right, right price. price. There we go. Took the words right out of my mouth. So that's the So those article. are going to be expired listings? Rotating agents. Come on the market. Rotating agents. Uh, you only need to find one. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> and to contact him, there is a form below. Good. Welcome to number 36, I think. It's right around there. I think we're past that. I think we're past that. All right, yeah, season two. We'll see. Well, if you like this, then subscribe, like, comment, share some news articles. I know we got one last week. It was uh, very positive outside of uh, New York City, the, the market and everything else. Oh. And if you want to relocate uh, to New York City. Sent me a nice article, too. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, send us the yeah. articles. The contact is below in the description. And, of course, if always, if you're looking to relocate to New York City, we're here to help you. And we will be back next... I will be back next week for... That doesn't count as an official episode. It does. He's going to not be here. So you're going to be stuck with me. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you...